Zone. Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers a Let's Play Action 52 for the Sega Genesis Part 6 Sidewinder. So with that said, let's get this shit started. Oh wow, we get another title screen. And I'm actually surprised, this title screen is actually halfway decent. But that doesn't mean this game is going to be decent, right? Level 1 Sidewinder is a Top Gun slash Afterburner clone. You fly around shooting the enemies with your guns using the C button, and you try to avoid getting blown up by the enemy's missiles. I'm not sure exactly what you need to do to clear a round, but I believe you have to shoot down a certain amount of enemies before you move on to the next level. Level two. The first few levels in this game are very easy, but as you are going to see here in a few minutes, the game becomes very difficult and almost unplayable. There are a couple things that I really hate about this game. The first thing is that you cannot shoot down the enemy's missiles. All you can do is run from the missiles. The second thing is, why doesn't my plane have missiles? The only weapon I have is a stupid pea shooter that takes three to four hits to defeat an enemy, while their missiles kill you with one hit. That's really fair. Level 3 is about the same as level 2, maybe just a little bit harder, but just wait folks, the shit is about to hit the fan in the next couple levels. I do have to admit, this music is okay. Where are you, planes? Yoo-hoo, I'm looking for you. Come out and play. Level 4 is where this game starts to become an asshole to the player. You will find yourself running from the missiles a lot more than you will be shooting at the enemies. This is very annoying. Look at this shit! Missile threat, missile threat, missile threat, missile threat. That's all this game is from here on out. Missile threat, missile threat, missile threat. It should have been called missile threat. Wow, it looks like the game eased off on me a little bit. I better take advantage of this time and shoot down a couple planes. You can only run from these missiles for so long. Eventually, you're going to get hit, just like this. Level four. All right, let's give this shit another go.
As soon as I think I have time to shoot down a plane, another missile comes out of nowhere. This sucks. Level complete. Level 5. And guess what level 5 is? More of the same shit, but probably harder, with more missile threats. Missile threat, missile threat, missile threat! What in the hell just killed me? I did not see a missile directly in front of me. I saw it off to the side. Alright, let's give this another try and see if we can do better this time. Nope, didn't do much better that time. Level 5 at the beginning, this game was too easy. Now this game's getting too damn hard. There are only 9 levels, and I'm only on n level 5. I couldn't imagine what level 9 is like. Missile threat! Missile threat! Get away from me, missile! Aw, oh, damn it! Level 5 Alright, I'm down to my last life, and this isn't looking good for me, but I'll try my best. Missile threat! Missile threat! Guess what? Missile threat! Missile threat up the ass! Missile threat! Missile threat! Missile threat from all angles! Missile threat! Can I not catch a break for just a second and allow me to kill one plane, please, game? Well, that didn't last long. Here we go again. Missile threat! Missile threat! Missile threat everywhere! Missile threat! Another missile threat from everywhere! Missile threat! Missile threat! Oh shit, guess what? It's another missile threat! Missile threat! Missile threat! Missile threat! Another damn missile threat! Like I said before, that is all this game is, is missile threat. They should have called the game Missile Threat. Holy shit, guess what? It's a missile threat! Missile threat! Missile threat! Oh, it got me. Oh, shit. I do have to admit that this is the best game I've played so far on the Action 52 for the Sega Genesis. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Action 52 for the Sega Genesis Part 6 Sidewinder. I want to thank you again for watching and be sure to stay tuned for Part 7.